Israel is watching the Syrian crisis carefully. The military battlefield where the civil war lurches from town to city, atrocity to outrage. And the political battleground where the world debates, prevaricates, and postures. Throughout this crisis, Israel's strategy has remained remarkably clear. Let me tell you, there are no good guys and bad guys in Syria. There are bad guys, very bad guys, extremely bad guys. So this is why we choose not to interfere, not to be involved in what's going on inside uh, Syria. Because whatever we'll do, we might uh, give a prize to the bad guys. Put simply, Israel doesn't want to help depose al-Assad and see Syria in their hands. And that uphill fight in Congress facing President Barack Obama worries the Israelis, perhaps more than the threats by Syria and its allies to attack Israel if the U.S. takes action. Sunday, Defense Minister Moshe Yalon declared we are prepared for the consequences of American action or the absence of such action. Prepared. Just outside Israel's northern coastal city of Haifa, an Iron Dome missile defense system is active and ready. This was a city targeted again and again by the pro-Iranian Hezbollah in its 2006 war with Israel. Nearby, the Rambam hospital complex rattles with the sound of construction. Underground, what appears at first sight to be a parking garage, is actually a 2,000-bed hospital taking shape designed from the experience of that 2006 conflict. Certainly, this can sustain a direct hit from Katusha rocket. Previously, in 2006, we, could, we wouldn't sustain a direct hit. This will also be protected from chemical warfare. If northern Israel is again hit, this underground facility could be a regional treatment center for casualties. Having declared it has no role in the Syria fight, Israel still has a stake. It says it favors a U.S. strike because it wants to send a message against weapons of mass destruction, not only to Syria, but to Tehran, which it is convinced wants to develop nuclear arms. Israel says it's ready to face any and all consequences, confident in its advanced missile defense systems like this one, another Iron Dome system just put in place. Israel also says that if attacked, it will respond fiercely. Jim Clancy, CNN, near Jerusalem.